Hello, Tom Pollard, personal trainer in Wesley Chapel, Florida. Today I'm going to talk about calorie counting. Pros and cons of calorie counting. The obvious cons are is that you're spending uh, a good deal of your time counting calories. Well, there's a couple applications you can get for uh, iPhones or smartphones like uh, my fitness pal and Fujicate and those will help you out if you're gonna count calories the pros of calorie counting when you're losing weight you're basically creating a calorie deficit and you do this you know by burning more calories than you eat now first instinct for a lot of people is to get up and exercise which is a great Thing. If you are 20 to 30 pounds overweight, exercising is going to help a little bit in shedding that first couple of pounds, and you're going to change your body composition. But the truth is, when you're 20, 30 pounds overweight, you're eating an excessive amount of calories, and all the working out isn't going to put the finishing touches in on losing that weight or getting down to a normal healthy weight. So you're going to need to eat less calories. And the most simple way to do that is calorie counting. Now, there are a few nutrition plans that basically say you do not have to count calories. Now, these nutrition plans are onto something because they usually just include foods that are not going to uh, fill you up on calories like you're not going to see any potato chips corn chips obviously these things shouldn't be a stable part of your diet if you're trying to stay healthy and lose weight everybody eats a couple corn chips potato chips from time to time but having a bag of them at your table or at your desk and just gnawing away at them all day is uh, a surefire way to get obese or at least get overweight so these nutrition plans that don't advocate calorie counting advocate eating real simple foods like fruits and vegetables and lean proteins and all that good stuff. But I still go back to calorie counting because it keeps it simple and you're still tracking what you're eating. And if you do eat that occasional bad thing, you, you keep track of it. You keep it in check. And for somebody just starting to lose weight, calorie counting will actually keep you in check. If you're following a nutrition plan that just advocates eating healthy foods and you won't need to eat count calories because all the foods you eat are healthy and they'll fill you up with fiber and satiate you. Uh, the problem is if you have a slip up, you're just slipping up and you might just say, hey, you know, I'm failing. I ate a candy bar. Now, if you're calorie counting, you eat that candy bar, you take account of it, and maybe, you know, you don't have another candy bar. You don't know, have another serving of potato chips because you're calorie counting, and then you try to get some smarter foods into the meal plan. Now, if you're eating, you know, 1,500 calories a day and, you know, a 1,000 of them came from beer and potato chips, then maybe you want to obviously – look into eating smarter foods. What I made here is a spreadsheet. I took a WebMD's calorie counter fitness tool. I'll give you a link to that. And uh, I took a 160 pound person. Now a 160 pound person is interesting here because it could be a woman or it could be a man. It's just a, any 160 pound person. Uh, 160 pound person more likely to be an overweight woman and it might be what a man aspires to be so I gave this person an eight-hour job and I gave them a life here you know they work out they do aerobics uh, they clean their apartment they sleep they watch TV drive a car shower self-care eating studying maybe they're a coach of a team and in 24 hours they're burning about 2800 calories and what I've done here is kind of created an, an unhealthy diet for them. Uh, this is, you know, the American nightmare diet here. And they're not eating too much. And that's the interesting thing. This is, might look familiar to some people that are having a hard time losing weight. They say, I really don't eat much. It's not like you're eating around the clock. But what you're eating is calorie dense. 
and uh, you know you need to account for it. Now, if you're using these programs like FujiK, My Fitness Pal, you go out and you have these items here. I'm looking at the donut. Uh, you know, 350 calories. You account for that. So if you have two, you got 700 calories in your system, and uh, you know you need to eat 2,800 calories, 2,855 to maintain. Uh, your lifestyle here now if you want to lose weight if you're this 160 pound person you want to lose weight you need to uh, subtract from that number 2855 if you're adding over that number you're most likely putting on weight now you know maybe this person could add another workout but it looks like they have a pretty busy schedule with life uh, this eight hour job they have too I made it a sedentary job you know it's a desk job that's the way of life for a lot of people and that's that's another contributing factor now, Snickers bar, 296 calories, couple slices of pizza. And how many people stop at two slices of pizza? If that's what you're having for, for dinner, you know, you're probably going to have a third slice. Uh, the dough doesn't satiate you. You know, we go back to those nutrition plans that advocate eating, you know, whole wheat or, or, or grains or eating more fruits and vegetables. If you're going paleo, you're obviously not eating pizza. Uh, so you're going to eat less calories doing that. But, you know, calorie counting, once again, we come down to maybe you slip up, you eat the ice cream, whatever, the Coke, and uh, you account for it. You account for it in your daily calories, and that might, in my opinion, that might pull you back to eating the smart foods. You know, it's important to educate yourself on smart foods, but when you're starting out, definitely counting calories is going to help. So I'm going to change a few things here. Because I don't uh, want you to just uh, go out and count calories and end up being like the Twinkie guy who lost 50 pounds eating nothing but Twinkies. He just managed to prove that if you eat less calories, you'll lose weight. And he proved it, but I don't think you're going to be in great shape just eating Twinkies because you're not going to be getting the micronutrients. And you're going to feel like crap and where's your protein uh, and all, all that good stuff. So let's... Uh, eliminate a few things here and uh, make a big difference in this guy's diet and uh, this is going to help him lose weight so he's got the the Big Mac and the, the french fries that's about 900 to a thousand calories here and he's got a coke which is about uh, what is a coke about a hundred calories yeah we got the coke at 103 calories and he's got the Snickers bar uh, regular size Snickers bar, almost 300 calories. So we're going to eliminate those three things. What we have up now is a four ounce chicken breast, some broccoli. It's kind of a paleo looking meal there. We replaced uh, the the Big Mac, the happy or uh, the Happy Meal or the Big Mac combo meal, uh, with the uh, paleo meal here, the four, four ounce chicken breast and broccoli, and that's a huge bunch of calories, about 800 calories eliminated there. So that just that takes him. You know, from a calorie surplus to a calorie deficit, just not going to McDonald's right there. And a Snickers bar going down to an apple. Uh, the Coke, that's 100 and some odd calories. He's not drinking a Coke, he's drinking water. And that's weight loss 101 right there. Eliminate any Coke, any sugar water, juice. You want to eat fruits instead of juice. And, uh, you know, you're just eliminating a lot of calories. So drink water because sometimes what happens is, you drink uh, juice or sugar water, you know, sodas, and you try to quench your thirst with that stuff. And, you know, it never satiates you and you're thirsty and you're adding calories to your system. So, you know, this person, just a couple couple uh, switches in that nutrition and, uh, you know, they're losing, they're, they've gone from a calorie surplus to a calorie deficit and they've created something that's going to help them lose weight. Now, the diet I have still up here isn't perfect. He's got the donut and all this stuff and I, I would... I would want this person to really be eating, you know, at least three square healthy meals a day. <laughs> and, uh, you know, like ice cream, donuts, you know, don't have both, have one. Uh, you know, he probably wants to be around 2,000 calories or or maybe go, you know, it's after, he, after he starts losing weight, maybe add a few if he's working out. But, you know, you want to be getting it from quality food. You want to be adding a lot of vegetables, a lot of fruits, uh, you know, brown rice, some whole grains, you know, just watch it, you know, and, and count the calories. So counting calories is a good thing because it makes you account for your bad food. But at the same time, you want to be eating healthy foods.